Oh my gosh. Ta-da! Okay, so I'm gonna kind of speed through this video so that it doesn't take an eternity. It might be a longer video, but at least it won't be five hours. So we're gonna start off with this bag because I already opened it. Um, so the look I have right now is from these magnetic lashes. So I'm gonna show you a clip real quick of me testing it out for the first time. I thought it would make sense for me to be all made up with these beautiful lashes during the video instead of after. So let's cut to that clip. So I'm gonna try it without mascara first. Okay, so it's right here. I'm just gonna see what it looks like. It is so beautiful. So here's what the magnetic stuff looks like. Oh. <laughs> we got the little applicator. It looks like regular liner, so I can't imagine this would be too bad. And it looks really fancy, really cool. So let's test it out. I'm gonna use you guys as my little mirror. Okay, it goes on really nicely. Now I'm gonna put it on in my mirror, that way I can see it better and I'll be back. So here's the eyeliner. As far as eyeliner itself goes, I think it's really good. I really like this eyeliner. Now let's put on the lashes. So I want to go super dramatic first. I'm going to go with the, let's see, which one's, the, I think this is the biggest. So I'm going to go with this one first. Okay, these things, they are huge. But let's give it a try. Actually, I'm going to turn it like this so you guys can see it better. Whoa. Okay. So it's on. And there you have it. I look like I have, I don't know, spiders on my eyes. But yeah, I like it. I think they're cool. I'm going to try one more. I don't want this clip to be super long. So I'm going to just try one more lash. And I'm going to try the um, the thinner ones. And then when I show back up on the video, I'm going to have it on with mascara. And just see if that makes a difference. But they come off so easy. But other than trying to make them come off, it's hard to make them come off. So that is a plus. So these are much more comfortable. As you can see, I do have them on. These actually aren't uncomfortable, like they aren't poking me. I like them, so I'm gonna wear them for the rest of the video and let you know how I like them. So I'm gonna put mascara on and see if it works better, see if it looks better, and then we're gonna continue with our unboxing. So yeah, it's safe to say I really like that product. Um, so far, it's not bad. It's a little bit itchy, but like you'll get used to it already. I'm pretty much used to it, and it looks decently natural if you do the smallest one. I picked the very like smallest, most natural lash for this, and I really like it, so I highly recommend those. We'll just get the ones that I already opened out of the way. I also opened this hoodie up. This is hard to see right now, <laughs> but it's super cute. So as you can see, it's got these little cut out sleeves and it's cropped. So here's a video clip real quick of me when I first tried it on because I could not wait for this one. It was the perfect fall weather for it, so I decided to wear it because like I said, I got this stuff a month ago, so it's been taking some serious patience not to just open everything up. So anyways, yes, I did open that one up, but here's some clips of me enjoying, thoroughly enjoying this hoodie. I just had to try it on. Look at these cutouts on the sleeve. It's so cute. These cutouts on the sleeve. It's so cute. So it's like a little cropped jacket. It's really not a jacket because it's not going to keep you warm, but it's super cute. I don't know. I feel cool in it, especially with like my ripped jeans because it just all works really well. It's like not cold outside, but it's this time of season that it should be cold outside. So I wore the jacket. I'm sorry. I unboxed it before it was time. Everything from this point on, I have not tried out. So, I actually don't remember even everything I got. Um, oh yeah, okay. So I got this. It's called a Misubi Maker. Um, 
it's a little plastic thing. Dude. I have always wanted to try making masubi. I don't know why, but here's what it looks like. You put like rice and like seaweed and stuff in there, and then you squish it down with this, and it makes a cute little merbob, I guess. Super excited to try this out. Um, this is actually one I won't be trying out on this video, just because I don't want this video to take forever, but it is gonna be in my Amazon um, inspired series, so stay tuned for that. Yes! Oh, it's the clay. I have been almost dreaming of this clay. I'm so excited. I love doing things with clay, but the last time I did stuff with clay, it was interesting because the clay was like, it wasn't cooked clay, so it cracked and cracked. So I'm going to make a little something out of this and just see if I like it. Okay. Alrighty. So here's what it looks like. That is really hard. I'm gonna cut a little chunk out of it. Wow. I guess you maybe you have to just knead it. It doesn't come with any instructions, so it's kind of frustrating because I don't know how to use it, but this seems to be helping. I'm gonna knead it and I'll be back. Okay, so as I'm kneading it, it is getting a little bit more easy to use, but for now, I'm just gonna turn this into a cute little square. So here's our little clay cube, and now we're gonna stick it in the oven. Really, it doesn't come with instructions, so I don't even know how long to cook it or at what temperature, but it is oven clay, so I'll stick it in the oven. Check on our little block. So one, it's really hot, and two, it's kind of soft. I don't know if I cooked it long enough, but it definitely got hard. And here's what it looks like. So yeah, there's the clay. Huh, not sure how I feel about this right now, but it's too hot to handle. So yeah. It's like a freaking bouncy ball. Watch this. Wow, this is really hot. Oh. Come back. It's cute. I like it. Bag one, down. Okay. Let's see what's in this one. Alrighty. Ah, uh, this. One thing. Okay. So there's just one thing in that big old bag, and it is this. I have been so excited about this. It's gonna be so cool. So it's a makeup product, and if I remember correctly, it is a liquid eyeshadow, and I think it was like holographic or something. It's really cool. So here's what it looks like. It is much smaller than expected. How does this work? Oh, it's got plastic on it. Okay, so first of all, this is in a glass jar, which is pretty cool. But, oh wow, that looks so fancy. So here's the little applicator brush. So I think this is supposed to be holographic, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. Oh wow, that is pretty. It's got good coverage too. So if you look at it in certain lighting, it looks black. Certain lighting, it looks blue. And then other lighting, it looks purple. It's pretty cool and it's pretty reflective. I think this would be really cute. And now we got another tiny one. Now this one is really pretty. It's reflective. Okay, so we got all the papers in there. It's wrapped up in tissue paper. Ooh, it's the nail polish, and I just painted my nails today. Well, that's okay. First of all, it looks very nice, which is good because it was kind of expensive for the nail polishes I get. Okay. There's a good quantity, though. Wow. Oh, okay. It does not have very good coverage, so you can still see my other thing underneath it, although I think it might be designed to be that way. So it gives that shine over top of the design. Wow. See how it's purple and where the sun hits it and just clear the other places? I think that's cool. I don't know if it was worth the money, but it's cool. Last item. So, it's this big old box, but I think it's got several things in it because I pretty sure I ordered more than just this stuff. So I'm just going to use that same knife I used for the clay. Okay, oh yeah. Show you, look at all that. We'll start out with this first. I got this, it is a milk frother and I'm super excited. I found out about a milk frother. So I got one. 
Let's see. So it's got several pieces on it, and it's not going to come out. All right. So here's this. I think this is its stand. Yeah, looks like it. And then the frother itself. So I think it takes, yeah, it takes batteries, which is nice. You don't have to plug it in. And then it's got a little holder. And then I think it's got two attachments. I think that this is supposed to be another attachment. So you just pull it out or what? Okay, so I'll only be trying this one attachment because I couldn't get this off and I don't want to break it before at least I try it. So it looks pretty straightforward. I'm going to grab a battery and some milk. Batteries check. Look at that thing. Ow! That hurts. Don't do it on your hand. That's not smart. So I made sure to get a big enough drawer because I just tried it and yeah, I had to wash that off. But I just tried it to um, clean it. I put it oh, <laughs> inside of some soapy water. It kind of splattered everywhere. So. Let's give it a try. It's clean, and here's the milk. Whoa. Oh. Hopefully avoid that happening again. Okay, that's still gonna overflow. I think this is gonna be good now, so. That is so weird. Look at that. Whoa. Cheers. Okay, so obviously I know you're supposed to put it in something, not just drink it straight up, but that was fun. I gotta admit, it tastes a little bit creamier, which is weird. I mean, I didn't add anything to it, I just blended it. So I would say that's fun. I like it. I'm so happy with this purchase, though. Okay, back to the unboxing of this. I'm between which one of these. This would be more of a bang, but... I'm gonna have to go with it. Probably should have saved it for last. But this is powdered peanut butter. Now the reason why I think this is really cool is because it has the same amount of protein, but it's half the calories and supposedly the same flavor. Like what? And you could put it in things without, like it would dissolve into things easier. And I am craving peanuts right now. Like peanuts, peanut butter, and chocolate. I'm curious what tastes plain. I don't know what you're supposed to use it in, but stuff, I guess. I'm probably gonna be using it instead of chocolate yogurt. Oh boy. It tastes like straight up peanuts, I just licked this. I'm going to take a pinch and try it. It's very dry. So it's good, it tastes like what you'd imagine if you took dehydrated peanuts or something like that and ground it up into a fine powder, that's what this tastes like. It tastes really good. It tastes like straight up peanuts, which I really like. Um, I kind of like it. You will be able to see me use it in other things when you watch my Amazon inspired baking video. So the very last thing in this entire unboxing and box are these. Look how cool they look. These are, drum roll please, Chopsticks. I have been really wanting chopsticks for a while, um, but I've been just using skewers and pretending they're chopsticks, but they don't work well. And I've been wanting to know if I could actually be able to figure out how to use chopsticks. Ugh, broken. So here's what they look like. They're already easier to hold than what I was using <laughs> for chopsticks, so. Safe to say I'm gonna need practice, but I think it's easier than what I was doing before. They're thicker, they're better handles, and they look really pretty too. So actually, these were the things that inspired the whole video. I wanted these really badly, and then I realized there's a lot of other stuff I wanted really badly, and I thought, you know what? What if I just bite the bullet and say Merry Christmas to myself, and then go ahead and make a video for you guys, and then make a whole bunch of Amazon-inspired videos because I had so many ideas. So yeah guys, definitely stay tuned for the videos coming up on my channel. I have tons of ideas and I plan to be using every single one of these items inside of some form of video. Not all together in one video, but several different categories of videos and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Like I cannot wait. I have so many ideas. So stay tuned for those if you want to see these products in use. If not, well that's okay, but they'll be up there eventually, um, probably sometime next year. But yeah, be on the lookout for that. 
Also, if you guys like this video, please like it. Please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, which is gonna be a hefty challenge considering it's almost January right now. So please, please subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week for another video. Remember, God made you to be who you are. So be you, be different, and out.